That should help our income somewhat. Especially once we get our... Once we can hit our... Uh, our uh, Sudebnik button here. That'll be extremely helpful. Alright. So next target... Is probably going to be Rostov. Because they're the only one that has low enough liberty desire at this point. So, we will start annexing them. Little Rostov. They need to have a higher opinion of us. Improve relations. Oh no! And you can go to anyone you want. Truce with Novgorod has ended. Fortunately, we're trying to finish our manpower mission. So we can't really go to war with them right now. Probably end up having to fight the Livonians. They're allied with Riga and the Teutonic Order. We can take them. We can take them. And we're no longer losing a Diplo for having too many vassals. Agricultural intensification. An unusually prolonged period of peace and stability has allowed the peasants in large monastic and boyar estates to begin to adopt more modern farming techniques. Slash and burn remains the norm across large parts of our realm, but with the spread of crop rotation, the population in parts of our realm is growing significantly. Excellent. That makes me glad to hear. Alright. Pretty close to the cap here. Excellent, we can use a Russian ability, so let's reform the Sudebnik. Let's see, make sure it's going to be actually worth it. Yeah, it'll be worth it. Boom. Significantly reduced autonomy. Let's see, why is this saying it's at minus 103? Great horde of embraced feudalism. Not feudalism. All right. Just got to get this this uh, ticking up a little faster. Losing so much money. Almost capped out here. Yeah, we should probably start developing the capital if we haven't seen um, the Renaissance spawn naturally yet. Let's see, I'll wait till we get up to like one tick away from the max. 984. 982, okay. So. We're very close, actually. So we have not a lot of Diplo. So we should develop this up as high as we can diplomatically first. And then we'll do something like this. And there we go. And that should have uh, completed the objective. Yep. And then we're going to pick up an icon of... Uh, St. John Clomacus for institution embracement cost and institution spread reduction. And that should get us rolling. Yeah, it was going to take too long to get to us otherwise. And it'll help our economy, hopefully. Man, I don't know why we're paying so much for army maintenance. I guess I could lower army maintenance, but I hate lowering army maintenance. 
Uh, high liberty desire. Yeah, I know. The levy. Um, we're gonna keep that at a modest level for you guys, for you folks. Yeah, we're just gonna have to lower army maintenance for a little while. I hate that. It's like a last resort thing for me. For some reason, it really bugs me. Just at least until we get out of debt. Because I don't want to take on another loan here. Okay. Getting ready to annex another vassal. Getting our manpower back up. Ready to probably curb stomp Novgorod again. Supporting the independence of one of our vassals. Those bastards. What happened in the Crimean Khanate? I clicked through that too fast. You come home. Lost trade dispute against Denmark. Don't know why that is. And vassals. Yeah, Rostov is still the only one that's going to accept annexation at this point. Should be very quick, though. Hey, we have a Russian ability. We could raise some Streltsy regiments. I don't think we'd be able to pay for them right now, though, so we'll just hang on to that. Let's see, we're new to bank loan. We're still not going further into the hole, though, so that's good. That's what we care about. Unhappiness among the clergy. We can ignore their demands. Or we can lose prestige and gain patriarch authority. Let's do it. We want to keep the clergy happy. So that they can grant us religious icons and conversion bonus. Whoa. Oh, they were fighting rebels. I was like, what are the Lithuanians doing here? I don't like that. Is this their core land? Smolensk. Polotsk. Did they conquer some Russian miners that were on the border here? Or do they start with those provinces? I don't know. Whoa! Suddenly we're paying a lot less for maintenance. Don't know what happened, but let's see. Austria is now considered a great power. Where are we? We're number six, actually. It's pretty good. Um, institution. Yeah, it's going to be expensive to embrace this. Yolets is still our main problem province in terms of revolt risk. Ferdinand of Austria has been elected as the president of the Roman Empire, or whatever that shit is. <laughs> He's the main dude. The main dude with an attitude. Freaking inflation. Getting in our way. Being all inflated. And just because I'm OCD, we have to make this an even number. I'm sorry. Uh, we will gain some inflation, sure. We're basically trading admin power for diplo power at this point, so. We're about to cap out again. Let's see, this one lowers rebel faction progress. So that could be useful, actually. Novgorodian noble rebels. That's good. That's good for us. Novgorodians fighting each other. Have we still not finished this stupid mission yet? I 
Okay, cool. Economy's recovered. We are going to get ready to fight Novgorod again. First, I want to finish this annexation because if we lose troops and their liberty desire goes above 50%, they might not. Uh, they might decide, no, we don't want to be annexed, actually. So. Do we have a CB on Novgorod is a good question. No, we don't. So we should have been building a spy network there a while ago. Oh, there we go. Conquer Novgorod. <laughs> we'll keep the we'll keep the spy network going just because it'll give us a siege bonus. But uh, yeah, overall doing pretty well. Let's see. So it's January. Supply limit we're dealing with here. It's very high in uh, Neva. Lagoda and Olenets have extremely low supply limits, though. So we'll have to be careful with that. Advancement of the Boyars. Great. I like it. Almost done annexing here. Of course, we start with a million vassals and one of the worst Diplo kings you can have. <clears throat> Them's the breaks, as they say. Appanage Holder dies. The Prince of Colm has died, and Vasily II Temni mourns the loss of a brother. As the current Grand Kniaz, we should now redistribute the lands up until... That up until now is an appendage of the deceased. Our remaining brothers will no doubt expect to get a part of the land, but we could try to use this opportunity to increase the size of our own lands. Uh, we must assure ourselves the support of our brothers. Yeah, let's do that one. So we can do this thing now. We can decrease the progress of the Great Horde Separatists. I think that's a wise use of that. And, uh, yeah, as soon as this diplomat is freed up, we are going to war. Integrating Rostov. Excellent. Are we over our force limit? We are one over our force limit. Um, current cavalry to infantry ratio is 25 and 15, so we will disband an infantry unit. Expanded. We should now be at exactly our force limit, which is exactly what I wanted. We want our best general, who's not very good, but he's still okay on this stack. We're going to declare war. They have no allies. And uh, take Neva. That's going to be our war goal. Raise army maintenance back up. And... Man, these supply limits are terrible. Uh, here's what we should do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to use some eight stacks here. Why is this guy stuck? Oh, because he had no... He had no, uh... Morale or whatever. Can we start annexing anyone else? We could start annexing Pskov, actually. Uh, they need to have... They have very good rela or, uh, relations with us, actually, already. So we will keep this diplomat on just whatever subjects you think need talking to. Okay. Lagoda has come under our control. Wow, there's no fort there? <laughs> Sucks to be them. Um, yeah, we're gonna use we're gonna use an eight stack again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This this music feels very appropriately Russian. I don't know I don't know if it actually is Russian, but it sounds it sounds Russian. It sounds very Russian Imperial to me.
Okay. Oh, well, there's the Novgorodian army. Causing trouble, as always. So this is a 4-3. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, TJ is one of the most OCD about uh, troop ratios of any EU4 player you've ever seen in your entire life. I guess we could just take all of it. That's the that's the Russian attitude, right? I guess we could just take all of it. The thing is I don't want to be paying state maintenance on stuff that I'm never well, I could yeah, we could take all of North Karelia. It's really Laponia that I don't want. Like I would rather just sell that to Sweden or some shit. Um I would very much like to have Viborg, but I don't really want to go to war with the Swedes. It's not a priority. We have other people to kill. Make sure we don't get capped out on admin here. Renewed alone, that's all right. We're back in the uh, business of making money instead of losing it. Okay, so now that it's May, we should have a little bit more leeway. Wow. No, we really still don't. Novgorod is really still a shitty frozen wasteland. <laughs> Alright, so we'll we'll make a We'll make another eight regiment. We'll send them up this way. We'll make another eight regiment out of these guys. Send them over to Onega. You guys can go get a cherry cola. And then you guys, whatever's left here, can be our reserve. Because I have a feeling it's going to be mostly cavalry. Yeah, it's actually all cavalry. So we'll just... We'll keep you in Bello Zero or something. <laughs> Ports are blockaded. Which ports? I don't have ports. We don't. Oh, it's this port that we took. <laughs> it's like, what's a port? I've never heard of such a thing. This is Mother Russia. We are not a maritime power. Okay, so this guy's gonna get attacked. So what we're going to want to do is on the 5th of July, I'm going to make sure he's locked in first. We're going to wait for that lock icon. We're going to go help him out. And we're going to unpause the game. Excellent. Perfect. The Pomyestia Reform. After Muscovites invaded Novgorod in 1471 and Lithuania failed to come to Novgorod's assistance, Novgorod was forced to accept Korostin's treaty. I'm going to have to get Chloe in here to help me pronounce some of these Slavic words at some point. Um, which further limited independence. Ivan III, still wary of uprisings because of what happened to his father, deported many of the citizens of Novgorod. He also replaced the leaders of the Novgorodian church with Russian Orthodox leaders. Lands were taken from the natives and given to cavalrymen in return for military service. This is another reason I played Muscovy, is because all these flavor events, I haven't seen most of them before. Um, after establishing their form, land, form of land management called the Pomesti system, there he introduced it into Muscovite. I think that's a typo. By seizing the local nobles called Boyar's estates and giving it to his army, he helped bolster and centralize the power and create loyalty in his army and other servants. By 1489, Novgorod was a shell of its former self and now part of the ever-growing Russian state. So we can get morale of armies and military tech cost, or we can get trade efficiency and institution spread. I think we want that institution spread. Let's become more like Novgorod. 
heretical as that may seem. Oh wait, they actually are in danger of losing here. Okay, cool. So you loop on back around that way. You stay right where you are. You come up here. Okay, cool. I think we're good. I think we're going to 100% them. Take all their shit. Um, ag expansion. People aren't worried about it at this point. wonder if we could sell... yeah. I'd like to sell some of these provinces to Sweden. Let's see. There's a little bit of a dangerous attack here, but I think we can pull it off. We're not attacking across the river. They have lower morale than us. Probably have slightly better troops because we haven't been teching. Which, by the way, how much can we keep saved with admin? There we go. Um, now we are just going to follow these guys and stack wipe them. And that will be that. Oh, they still have one more province. Lukey down here. And stack wipe. Come on, stack wipe. Stack wipe. Stack. Ah, oh, I didn't get the stack wipe. Well, where are they going now? They go into Cargapole. We'll catch up to him in Cargapole. Meanwhile, we'll go siege Luki. Meanwhile, you guys go back to Moscow. So you don't take snow attrition. Go ahead and go on up to speed four, because I don't think we're in any real danger at this point. Stack wipe. Yeah, buddy. Okay, anywhere that we need to be suppressing revolts, Yolets is still uppity, so we'll send an army down there. We're at 99, but I would really like to give this province to Pskov. So. And we've got such a high spy network in Novgorod right now that this fort should fall pretty quick. Yeah, 11%. Alrighty. How's our institution spread going, by the way? Should be going pretty fast. We've got plus 60% <laughs> institution spread. Could almost afford to adopt it right now. Okay, so there's no way that they can possibly counterattack us at this point, so I'm just gonna... Awesome, more agricultural intensification. Go up to speed five here. So this will complete the uh, five centers of trade missions. So areas that we want our control, Laponia we're not interested in. So I might just not take it. I might just leave them with that one province. Um, oh yeah, let's transfer occupation to Pskov. Cool. So that'll help dampen the effect of the ag expansion that we'll take from this and our personal coring cost. So we're gonna take everything up as far as here. Oh, is that all we can take? Okay, well, let's make sure... Let's make sure we get the trade note on the White Sea. And then we'll take the 
Ladoga, we want all of their money. That's actually just as important as anything else. Um, areas... We won't take anything in Pomoria, because then we're going to end up having to... Um, pay extra for state maintenance. So we will leave them with a rump state that looks like that. And... I don't know, if we give up one province, can we get war reparations out of them? Well, they're not going to be making that much money anyway. Okay, Muscovite Conquest of Neva. 31.9 aggressive expansion. Not too terrible. And we, since we have all of this saved up, we can core everything immediately.